proper information, precise information, collected information, useful information, effective and efficacious methodology of implementing that tool so that it reach lot of people for lot of benefit for lot of periods. So that which is crossing the time frame, that which is within the benefit frame, that which enframes all members of the society for a productive end, that is said to be a real information system. So in informatics, you know that we are having innumerable information system now. We are starting with education. There is a tele-informatics in which distant learning now they are teaching through satellite communication, then e-learning and various things there. Even with the book, with their master to teach, they are not learning. How could they will make e, f and g learning their own? It is an additional source of knowledge for people, those who are having courage, those who are having confidence, those who are having commitment, those who are having untiring, unquenchable zeal for mastering the wisdom, for them even your blank paper will contribute all meanings. If a person has no such qualities, even your printed encyclopedia will be just a pillow for them, just to keep on sleep. So, informatics starts with the embryo of the mother. It is known as embryonic informatics or embryo informatics in which uh, the subtle instincts, impressions, imprints of the mother that has been genetically, environmentally, individually, collectively implanted, transplanted and proplanted by her thought, speech and action to the embryonic field that makes the child to learn. I used to call it as intrauterinal academy, in which uterus is the first academy of learning. So it starts with that. Now we are having in school knowledge structure, exercise classing, then exploration modules, K-12, Distant learning, effective learning, no learning, close your books, innumerable things, novel things that they are now producing just to attract people. But they are not implanting the basic criteria. You can cook anything, but how to cook without fire? The fire is a zeal from a student, that is the impartial zeal from a master, that is a receptive zeal from a student, that is a vibrant zeal from the environment, the learning environment from the academy, that is the work of a government, that is the work of an academy, that is the work of a parent, that is the work of an individual, that is the work of a teacher. So innumerable people, they have to totally federate for a common purpose of implanting the realistic, fruitful, rejoiceful wisdom in the society. Informatics is there everywhere. And what is the use of the information if uh, nothing is properly done? That is bioinformatics, geoinformatics, cryptoinformatics, nanoinformatics, neuroinformatics, innumerable informatics are there. What is the use of these things? So basically now recently, like this Olympiad, there are only three games. One is an active dynamic game. Second is a creative dynamic game. Third is a recreative dynamic game. Recreative dynamism is media for which there is Oscar award. Creative dynamism is science for which there is Nobel award for peace, literature and something that is creative for the society. For active dynamic activities like uh, athletics etc. there is uh, Olympics. And now recently at Cairo 2008, International Olympiads in informatics was conducted with gold medal, silver medal, bronze medal exclusively in informatics. Likewise in cybernetics in various other divisions, that is also very much essential, that is active. But certainly for creative dimensions and dynamism of the society, we should already sustain. Coming to the conclusive session of this lecture, I want to just underline few points to take it to the action from today. In the succeeding conferences, in succeeding inferences, in succeeding preferences in all of your actions. Number one, <coughs> systemics is the seed. Understanding of the systems, that is a seed. And uh, that seed is very portable, very easy. And if you understand the system, you can master any art. By mastering the art only, they are trained to understand the system nowadays in school. Without understanding the system, due to compulsion, due to imitation of others, or due to its uh, social returns in the form of uh, occupation and other benefits, they are driven by a talentless motion and motion towards education, by which they don't relish and understand. By a coercive suppression, they are forced to write something or to say something which they don't know what they are doing even after a few seconds after completing the task. So, this type of relishing that starts only from understanding. Systemics must be included. Now recently, they have included ontology in all subjects because they have found out instead of taking this circumlocative motion or circumlocative process by which they have to understand the ontology starting from their brain step. Now they have understood not even a grain of knowledge is accessible without understanding the ontology. That's what they have derived in the past five decades of knowledge pursuit. So, systemics is like a seed. It encompasses everything. 
Second is cybernetics. It is like a broad tree. It can give you comfortable shelter and shadow. Then the third thing is the fruit of the tree, which is the informatics. That is the active portion, that is the dynamic portion of the science. So we have to understand this trinity, the holy trinity. Likewise, it is the technical trinity of modern science. And number two, role of incumbents. All philosophers as well as the social scientists, they are bothered about that. The, what is role of uh, incumbents or rule of incumbents? Whenever a person derives something, I have already told, just indicated. Whenever a person derives something, mm. brain has three powers. One, to understand your problem, to solve your problem. Third thing is to create a system which can solve the problem. Understanding about the problem is known as cognition. To solve the same problem by its own power, its own power is metacognition. Third thing, to create a system to solve your problem is science and technology. By more science and technology, its understandability as well as self-settlement that progress that is there within that system that is being diluted. This is a role and rule of incumbents that has made people to be just imitators, uh, that is copycats, imitators, adapters and operators of mechanisms, more inventors, more innovators, our self-settlement issues have been totally dropped back. That is rule of incumbents. Then third thing is cybernetics, uh, that is also social cybernetics. Apart from this, there is social cybernetics also. They are concerned about the society also I already told. The society has three things. One is caliber of a person, acumen of a person, and aptitude of a person. These three things must be properly boosted. If unwanted things are there, they must be rectified. And proper identification, channelization must be brought. Either by an individual, or by a system, or by an institute, or by a way of adoption of voluntary decision and submission. It must come in the society. That is the second thing. The third thing is, man-man interface must be there. Now we are studying about man-machine interface and interaction. Is there proper interaction between man and man of the same community, same language within the same border? You need not bother about uh, extra-border terrorism, cross-border terrorism, transnational terrorism, transnational non-fraternity, all of these things you throw away. Is there any fraternity? That's what I told in the same seminar 2004. It is very difficult to maintain brotherhood with your own brother. <laughs> then only we can think about other brothers, thinking them as brothers is secondary. So, it should also deal with the uh, neural sterilization for all people by which the mind or the brain does not drive uh, the person or tempt a person to go against the pathway of harmony, peace and interrelativity. For mutual benefit, for perennial benefit, for long term benefit, it must be that. And uh, finally, as we are discussing with Bhakarji, the fourth point is, this CT must rule IT, BT and NT. Cognitive technology must parallelly, coherently, collaterally succeed with biotechnology, nanotechnology, neurotechnology and information technology. If it is totally unguided, uncared by cognitive technology or cognizant development, cognizant is not the name of any company. It may be the name of company, I am mentioning the real cognizant mode in which the person utilizes his knowledge, relishes his knowledge for understanding, effective application and forceful distribution to all needed members, deserving and desirous as well as dynamic members of the society, this must come now. For which we have to create, like we have uh, to create an institute of intuitionistic logic tomorrow. Likewise, there must be like American Institute of Cybernetics, there must be an institute for social cybernetics and this cognitive cybernetics must collaterally, parallelly travel with all emerging sciences in order to make the science really a science, not a mission. So to authorize the science, there must be a system in which we must concentrate on three issues. And Mr. Patelji has spoken about food, food production, food security, food 